Okay, so today... Let's see. No practice. It's Fushimi. Okay, let's... Um, let's spend time with Chihiro. Do I have justice? I do, Archangel. Okay, so we're good to hang out with Chihiro then. I believe she's just right outside. Oh, Yuki-san. Exams are finally over. Uh, um, I hope you did well on them. At least now the school council meetings can resume. Uh, are you on your way home now? Um, w would you like some company? And yes, I do have... A justice persona. So let's uh, spend some time with her. Sleeping still, Kate Crypto. How are you doing? What's up? How are you? How's it going? How's it going? It must be pretty late for you, though, Sleeping Silk, right? <laughs> but thank you so much for dropping by. Let's see. We're gonna go to the strip mall. Sorry to drag you along while I go shopping. Um, I can't access the network for these answers, but I'm going to say, don't worry about it. My day's been good. It's been a little gloomy. Oh, actually, it was sunny this morning, and now it's kind of gloomy. But um, I've been ha I've had a good day. I spent the morning chat chit chatting with my friends, and now I here I am streaming. So today has been good. I was so busy searching through the books. I I'm sorry I ignored you. She's a book nerd. Um, I'm sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books. I was having a bit of trouble deciding. 11.30, time to wind down for sure. It snowed here earlier today. Oh my god, snow! Snow is nice. As long as it isn't, like, heavy snow, then snow is nice. If the snow gets too heavy, then it gets annoying at, at that point. But if it's just regular snow, it's fun. Ah! Hello, snow. Um, do you read much, Senpai? Do I read much? I read manga! I think that's what I have to choose, actually. I mean, man. She likes that. <laughs> I do like shoujo manga, too. Most of the animes that I watch are shoujo. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes. I think it's because I can relate to her. I also get frustrated, but it's not because I can relate. Because it's actually annoying. Like, just ask him out already. <laughs> Let me turn on my mic a bit. I'm a bit loud. It was kind of thin. It didn't stick. Just made everything wet. Oh, that's also bad snow. If the snow isn't fluffy and if it doesn't stay, then that's also not fun. If it's just like the purpose of the snowing was just to be wet, then nah. Wet and icky and gooey. Gross. <laughs> No, stop being insecure. Um, yeah, it's a drag. I'm indifferent. Well, we want her. We want to be nice to her. Everything we say to her has to be nice. Much agree regarding shojo. I just love shojo, and I love this time of year, um, because this is when like a bunch of new shojo, um, anime start either releasing or get announced, um, because like spring, like late winter to, to early spring. And it's like the the mood in the weather most of the time is perfect for like a nice comfy shoujo anime or manga and it's like perfect. I love it. I love shoujo's. I just enjoy shoujo a lot more. I'm not really into shonen or like horror or thrillers or anything. I do like the occasional fantasy and adventure, but most of what I watch tends to be shoujo. <laughs> but I'm trying to um, I, I don't really read a lot of like high school romance shoujo's anymore. Probably because I am no longer in high school, so I don't really find that age range entertaining, I guess. Um, but I, I know a, a sign of affection was popping off recently, and I've been wanting to- I've been meaning to watch the anime. I need to watch it. A lot of my friends were saying it was super cute. T today I was able to, um, say what's on my Usually, rewatch Toradora on this time of year? Okay, I have a bit of an unpopular opinion. But I did not like Toradora. <laughs> I did not like it at all. I want to stop being so afraid of everything. I want to be able to talk to other people. 
Otaku, Watakoi is a good one. Mid 20s office romance. Ooh. Is, I know I've watched a few. I don't remember the titles of all of them. Um, I know there was another one that came out, I think, last year that I meant to watch. It was like Ice Guy. Uh, Ice Guy something. I just know the guy, he likes this, his, one of his coworkers. But he freezes up and he literally like makes it snow or something like that. I meant to watch that one because that, that one got really popular, but then I forgot about it. I should watch it this year instead. But yeah, I was not a fan of Toradora. <laughs> I did like Golden Time though. Golden Time was good. Um, you only like this with guys. Why are you so afraid? Damn, those are both. Those are both uh, straightforward answers. Um, I'll say, are you like this, guys? Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. Think you loved it because you were the target age demographic at the time? I think I also watched it as a teenager, but I don't remember. But I still didn't like it back then. So whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is. Oh shit, Chihiro! Oh no, I'm really happy that you care. Thank you. Chihiro seems to appreciate my company. I feel like our relationship has grown. Golden Time is still on my ever-expanding list, though. I think maybe it, I liked Golden Time more. Um, I did also watch that as a teenager, so I don't. I was not the target demographic either. I think that show was more meant for like adults, um, but I, I preferred it over Toradora though. I really liked it. I think maybe I just liked the the way the main couple evolved in the beginning. I guess like how originally the girl is interested in another guy, and she comes to that college to follow that guy she has a crush on, but she later then develops a crush on the friend instead, and then they start dating. The friend being the main character. I think I liked that concept. The, like, it wasn't, I guess, not your typical thing, I guess. And then, same thing, like, he's like this, like, shy, lanky boy, and then she's like this hottie. I think that was, like, an interesting dynamic to see. Like, a hottie girl and then, like, a, a wimpy boy. <laughs> Love that trope, yeah. I'm not a fr I'm not a fan of the childhood friend trope, so maybe that's also why I'm, I was glad they didn't take that route. <laughs> I parted ways with Shahira, then headed back to the dorm. And then the fact that all everyone still remained friends, like like the guy that she originally had a crush on, and then the couple that they all still be are still friends throughout the show. It's great. Okay, this looks like it's story related stuff. Congrats, man! Finding love in unexpected places feels more true to life than childhood friendship. Exactly! I agree. I completely agree with that. I don't know, childhood friend trip just feels so... ...narrow, I guess. It feels very narrow. Shouldn't you take it easy, though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. I've already wasted enough time. Besides, we found another persona. Let's go, Fuka! We did? Sweet! You met your girlfriend on a train? Oh my gosh, that's cute. <laughs> Are they a girl? The most unexpected yeah. places. Sometimes it's even the most mundane places school. like that. Let's see, what's her name? Fuka Yamagishi. Do you guys know her? Yamagishi? I think she's in class E. I don't see her at school very much. She gets sick a lot from what I heard. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. But considering her health, she probably won't be able to fight. <sighs> it's too bad. We already had an evoker ready for her too. Rip. We already had guns what? prepared. <laughs> but I was gonna offer her some private lessons. No, Junpei, don't! I feel like even the way Junpei meets Chidori is also kind of cute. Like, he just runs into her drawing on the streets one day, and then boom, their little friendship starts from there. And then it eventually turns romantic. I think it's cute. You just meet someone in a very normal, but unexpected way. Why are you 
looking at me like that? <laughs> I actually was going to talk about this at some point in stream. Uh, what's your dig on the new Akiko voice? It seemed like a pretty hot topic coming up to release. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so here's the thing. Akihiko's new voice actor is Alejandro Saab slash Sino, um, an indie VTuber and professional voice actor. I do really love him as a voice actor. I I know of his other works that he's done in the past. I'll admit, I do prefer the old voice actors, Liam. I do prefer his voice. This Akihiko one, I think it took this new one. Um, It's not a bad voice. It's just different. Um, I don't, I wouldn't, I feel like in contrast to the old voice, Akihiko sounds a bit too serious and calm. Um, the old Akihiko, he, he does get excited about certain things and he is pumped up and he's not like a complete, like emotionless dude. Right now, I'm, Akihiko's coming off kind of emotionless, but I've heard, I've heard from other people that all of his really good emotional scenes, um, Alejandro does a good job. That's what I've heard. October 4th is a day to look forward to in the game. Um, I don't think the voice is bad. It's just different and I need to get used to it. And I'm just very attached to Akihiko's old voice because he was my he's my favorite character. But I don't think it's awful. I do wish that he was a little more pumped up, I guess. Because it feels like... Okay, let's say with like Junpei's voice actor. Junpei's voice actor, yes, it's a new voice, but he still captures like the the personality of Junpei. He he still captures like his his essence. And not saying that Alejandro doesn't capture Akihiko's essence, it's just different. It's just different. And I just need to get used to it, but I don't think it's bad. So yeah, that's my take. And it's I'm technically only in May of the game as well, so I still need a I still need to get I still need more opportunities to hear his voice as well. And I, I know Sino talked about it as well on a stream. He actually addressed how people were like, at first they were mixed about his voice, but over time they ended up liking it. So I'm expecting, like, I'll probably like it later on too. I'll just quit it, okay? Junpei's via kills it. Aki's new voice seems younger to me. Wait, younger? Everyone was saying he sounded older. That's interesting. Despite his lower and more monotone register. That's another thing too. He is kind of monotone, but it's not like a it's not like an emotionless monotone, I guess. He just doesn't emphasize on on the same words that maybe Liam did. But it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Younger, that's interesting. It definitely feels like he's trying to do a little bit of an Ikemen voice, but it's not it's not terrible. It's just, it's just gonna need some getting used to, and I, I need to hear more of it. Cause right now Akihiko hasn't really like joined our party, and we also haven't, we also haven't unlocked his social link yet. I think he has a social link in this game. Um, so I just need to hear more, basically. So I can't really come to like a definite conclusion, other than just I need to hear more. <laughs> I need to hear more. Um, uh, we're gonna go to the mall, and we are going to play some video games. Liam's voice always sounds like mid 30s to you. Really? I mean, I thought he fit. Oh my god, Tanaka's here. <gasps> oh shit. We're gonna. I'm gonna deal with Tanaka later. Or can I at least talk to him? Maybe I can still give him money. Let me see. If only I could find someone who could steal our clients' hearts. There must be some handsome young man out there who could drive all the housewives wild. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to engage in a, a social link with him just yet. Where? I don't see anyone, for heaven's sake. Quit wasting my precious time. This must be the man Maya was talking about, the one she saw on TV, but he doesn't seem to be interested in me. I need higher charm. Okay, makes sense. So that's why I'm going to play video games. <laughs> I'm going to play video games so that way I can be charming. But, uh, we still need to raise our academics, though. My academics are falling a little behind. So I'm gonna play your You're the Answer. And we have plenty of time to do Tanaka's, um, uh, social link. Um, right here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's funny. It's been a good day, good night. 
I play the quiz game, you're the answer. I increase my intelligence by competing against other players from all over Japan. Yeah, I, 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 either way, I still need to raise my academics. It's my, my lowest stat right now. <laughs> right here. Uh, you want this, uh, 17 year old boy to be stealing all the wives? The, the over, the, ever, every man's wife, this underage boy. Or I guess in Japan, technically, is of age. I got a few messages, okay. Um, I'm going to accept none of these. <laughs> I'm going to be spending time with Maya because this is one of the only few times we can actually hang out with her. The boys, we can run into them at school, but not the rest of us. Um, let's see what is on the TV. Anything worth buying? Let's see, what are you selling? All-purpose apron. Ooh, it's an outfit. Hmm. How much does it cost? Bad, kid. Ooh, that's expensive. Sure, I'll buy it. It's expensive, but I'll buy it. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Next time, we'll be introducing a healthy lifestyle set. Don't miss it. We need to put that on, um, someone. I don't know if that's a cosmetic outfit, but we need to put it on somebody. That's it for today. We're all sold out. Sorry, folks. Bye -bye. We'll see you next Sunday. Same time, same channel. <laughs> the way he said buh bye Okay, but yeah, we are now going to play the MMORPG. So that way we can raise our rank with Maya. She's in the dungeon. I see Maya. I, 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 the voice that I've given for Maya is so cringe, but it's probably so accurate. Hold on, let me sit up a bit. I'm like this, slouching in my chair. All right, I need to be full sit up straight for this cringy e girl Maya voice. Playing MMOs instead of socializing, a Sigma move. Hey, it's our day off, it's a Sunday. And also, like, why would I want to spend time with the boys when I can play online with a girl, you know? <laughs> I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff. There's nothing a little endorphins won't care, right? Or is so much pain. Actually, I only went because I was so pissed at that bastard. Um, I believe I'm supposed to choose... Oh, uh, what bastard? Uh, sorry. I have kind of a dirty mouth today. The valley girl? That's how a lot of people talk. Uh, a lot of girls talk online. It's actually really cringy. What I meant was, I was upset because of this guy. Remember that e Mr. E guy? <laughs> The S SOB, right? Dakota, the nasty nurse. I made a small error on some paperwork and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to be teaching correct grammar, he told me. <laughs> Shut the F. <laughs> I almost said the full thing. STFU, old man. It thinks it's all bad just because he's a classic lit teacher. Oh, wait, no. I guess I was wrong. Oh, no, the other one. I forgot there's two. There's the nurse who starts with an E and then there's um, the other one. Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard. And Mr. E starts playing this game too. I'm putting him on ignore. You can't talk to him either, okay? <laughs> Pwned. Blech. I gotta hit the hay now though. Have a good rest of stream. Thank you, Sleeping Slip, for dropping by. I appreciate it. And I hope uh, the next time it snows will actually be nice snow and not gross snow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good sleep. Maya's confiding in me. I feel like we're growing closer. And we're rank six. Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house in the way. He probably uses an abacus. Talk about classic raffle copter. Blech. Yeah, much better. Maybe I'll go take a shower now. Don't worry. I won't let the old geezer get me down, Tatsuya. 
Maya's player sign off. I decided to log out as well. Gross. I hope no one downstairs heard me talking like that. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Oh, hello. Um, okay, what are we doing today? Um, b -b 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 today is the 24th. What did I write down for the 24th? We are going to go eat to raise our academics. We are gonna go to the strip mall. And we are gonna go to Wakatsu Kitchen again. Which is, uh, not that one. This one, Wakatsu Kitchen. And we're gonna order the seafood. Full course, so we can once again, once again, raise our academics. I ordered the seafood full course. Every bite fills my mouth with flavor in my brain with omega threes. Nice. Do, 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 do. May 25th. Good morning. Morning. You're as punctual as always, Yuki-kun. This morning, Junpei left earlier than usual. Looking like the world was about to end. Jeez. Yeah, no kidding. This is the same Junpei who's always running late. Our midterm scores are gonna be revealed today, so... He said he's gonna beg the teachers for a higher score before they get posted. Oh no. As if that's gonna work. Oh, by the way, you remember that girl sonata Simp I was talking about? Yamagishi-san? I heard she has a weak constitution, but that's just a rumor. I wonder what she's really like. Damn, weak constitution is a like a legit rumor? But having more people join us in our fight is good news, right? Alright, the exam results are up. I'm in the top 10! Let's go give me that reward, Mitsu! Everyone is looking at me. And our charm goes up, because everyone loves a smart dude. Come to think of it, Mitsuri promised to give me a gift if I scored well. I should talk to Mitsuri when I see her. Lunch time is almost over. I should get back to class. Let's see, is she gonna be here today? Okay, time for class. All right, class, settle down. You can show off your scores to each other later. Let's spend a bit of time going over the test now. The first part was the kanji dictation dictation section. How did any of you get this part wrong? It was a gimme. I swear. You make me ashamed to be your teacher sometimes. Next was the short essay. Your reaction to a passage about bullying in schools. These don't have a sole correct answer. You can write whatever comes to mind as long as it's relevant. You can even write about something you never discuss aloud, like a complaint about bullying at GeikoCon, for example. Oh, that's what Fuka's dealing with. Lonnie, I'm late! Was grocery shopping? No problem, glad you were able to stop by. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's been... How long have you been... Oh, almost two hours? I'm not even that far in the game. Oh god, I need to pick up the pace. Though I'm sure that's not an issue in this class, right? Bear in mind, I hate cowards who resort to bullying. But, uh, how's your day been so far, Lonnie? Got all, got all the groceries you needed for the, for the rest of the week. Feeling sleepy? No! We have to stay awake for our stats! Okay, moving on. Okay, on to the next section. Many of you got these wrong. Are we paying attention? Good. Now you were asked to write the correct conjunction in each case. The first one's answer was and, but if you wrote however, you lucked out with some partial credits. I want to warn it next time though. Got it? I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Let's go. We get even more academics. Perfect. And, but we're still not ranked three yet. We'll get there. It's hard work to become smart. 
Okay, let's go find Mitsuru um, in the pre- Oh, there's a lot of people today, okay. Um, previous game, she was always found in the faculty hallway, and yep, here she is. Oh. Ah, oh, Yugi. I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is the- this is from the chairman. Excellent. It's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our, um, <laughs> extracurricular activities. Wow! Thank you for the stuff, girl. Okay, let me see. Can I buy bread? I want bread or drinks. Crab bread. Oh, cover. I didn't buy those others. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting to do? I keep forgetting to buy sodas at, um, at, um, shoot. At the dormitory. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Um, so after we've done that, um, I need a emperor persona, which I do not have. So let us go to the velvet room and grab one, grab an emperor persona, because we are gonna be hanging out with Hidetoshi today. Let me just stir uh, once again, we're gonna mute. No, wait, the music doesn't interfere. Oh, you don't, know, shoot. I should have deleted a persona before. I can sense that the power going within you stems from the bonds you have forged and nurtured since. Here, it may not be much, but this is my gift to you. Please accept it. Two Twilight Fragments. I still cannot foresee the limits of your potential. I look forward to witnessing you grow even further. Now then, how maybe I have assistance? Um, let me register my current personas. Or unless, okay. Um. I need to delete some personas because I know I have no room. So let me do that real quick. Let's get rid of, we no longer need the hair offense. Um, I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be done. Oops. Hanging out with the, oh my God, the couple. Oh, I released them. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got rid of them. Now we are gonna grab an emperor persona. We're gonna grab Fornius. I believe he's my, my cheapest, my cheapest persona. All right, summon. Level because it's easier. Emperor Fornius, here we go. All right, sweet. All right, now we go back to school. All right, Gekko Khan, hi. And this is gonna be our first official hangout with him from what I remember. Um, where does he, where's, where's the student council? This is not where I wanted to go, but uh, I'm here anyways. Looking around to see if there's any Twilight Fragments anywhere, but there is not. Hidetoshi, where are you? He's on the second floor, right? Here we go. It's the student council room. The student council meets today. And I have Fornius, so let's go spend time at the student council. I love the, the music. I spent some time working with the student council. Hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. Thanks for all your hard work today. Well then. Please excuse me. Oh, did they freeze for a second? Oh. oh, can I borrow you for a moment? No. I'd like to hear your opinion on something. It's nothing serious, but some students think the school uniform should be abolished and they're gathering supporters. I mean, I guess it depends. 
I mean, if we're a private school, I, I would imagine that uniforms should be enforced for some reason, but I mean... You also, you can, you're gonna get dress code issues as well. I don't know. I, I guess it depends. I'm kind of indifferent to either to uniforms or being able to dress however you want. I, I don't, I personally couldn't care either way, but I know for some people, they, they believe fashion is a self, a form of self-expression, which I also agree. I'm a very fashionable person, but like in school, I feel like I, I don't mind a uniform either way. Um, but unfortunately we have to uh, agree with Hidetoshi. Sounds like nonsense. Yes, because it is nonsense. <laughs> They think freedom is a life without rules. It's ridiculous, plain and simple. Without rules, the whole system will collapse. They're mistaking selfishness for freedom. It depends on the rules. There are some rules that are that are necessary and some that are maybe a bit too much, but it, just, it depends. I don't think the uniform is like one of the deal breaker ones, but. Sorry, overreacted a bit there. I hate people with no common sense. I have very little desire. Damn, okay, bro. <laughs> And don't take that the wrong way. I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. I think Oda Odagiri is starting to trust me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Better friends through uh, hating on other people. Wonderful. Why don't you head on home? I'll lock up here when I'm finished. Get home safely. I left the student council room and went back to the dorm. Perfect timing. Would you mind heading to the rooftop with me? No! Anywhere but you! I will never go anywhere with you, sir! What is it, sir? <laughs> no need to be so wary of me. It isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key. Let's see, this is new though. I don't remember this in the original. This is gonna be a new a new way to grind stats or something. <laughs> we better not be getting a social league with him. No, there's no way they would. No, he they technically can't. Okay. That's good. Oh Do you a garden? fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Well, while cleaning up the after Wait, I thought we weren't supposed to be up here. The door always says to stay locked. Myself from setting up our own little garden. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? <laughs> Why am I here? I should have said that, darn it. You have impeccable taste. I'm glad my efforts didn't go unappreciated. Unfortunately, I can feel my back giving out after all that hard work. Do you happen to know a good chiropractor? You're asking me? A little chipper like me? I digress. There is, in fact, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. But why me, specifically? Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I'd like. I did mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on, I suppose, due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you <gasps> can grow your own- Can I cook myself if I have food on me? That sounds good. I'm I'm down for that. I can grow my own food and cook uh, it. I'm glad you think so. Make you HP and SP you items. <gasps> use of the planters. Once you get started, you'll find there's a lot that can be done. Of course, you're free to do whatever you want. At the rooftop gardening, you can raise crops of vegetables. Each one will take a different amount of time to grow. You or your teammates can eat the vegetables you harvest to gain benefits that will be helpful when journeying into Tartarus. Let's go! Here are some seedlings. Go ahead and plant them if you'd like. If you should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city, feel free to experiment. Oh. I haven't come across a shop that does, but maybe they're gonna open now. Well, that's everything. And now, it's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off, eat your veggies, peas. Don't! No more jokes! I don't even want to hear you laugh about it. Okay, ooh, Twilight Fragment. Yeah, let's go. Only one. Now that all of a sudden they're being stingy with Twilight Fragments. 
Okay, let us uh, plant something. It's the rooftop planter that I was told to take care of. Nothing is planted in the soil of the planter. Looks like we can plant some seedlings. All right, what did he give me? Healthy tomato sprouts. Is that the only thing he gave me? Really? Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Let us plant. Looks like it could be harvested on June 4th. Okay, sure. I planted the healthy tomato sprout. Alright, looks like I harvest them from June 4th onwards. Alright, sweet. Um, what is open today? Okay. Um, we are gonna go to Wakatsu Kitchen and once again we're gonna munch on some seafood platter and become smarter. Actually, we haven't saved in a bit. Oh, this way, sir. Oh, I forget it. I didn't realize he doesn't carry his bag at night. Woo! Should I spend the night here? Yes. And once again, we are going to eat the seafood full course platter. And is this enough for us to get to the next rank? I ordered the seafood full course. I we read this before. Let's go! Rank three! Now we're all evened out again. What's up, dude? Hey, how'd you do on your exams? I'm satisfied. I did good. What? You traitor! Dude, I'm a laughing stock. You know what I heard these two cute first girl first first year girls saying? Did you see the exam results? Specifically Iori Senpai's? He sure talks big, unlike his brain. Do you understand what I'm going through? My heart is in shambles. And we're not even getting a new girl on the team. No wait. It's too early to give up hope. We still haven't heard back from her yet. How can we get her to join us? I should figure out a way to say it, what to say to convince her. Oh, Junpei. Wait until he meets Chidori. Class has ended for today. Um, you know what? I probably should hang out with Kenji today. <laughs> um, magician. He was magician, right? I do not have a magician persona. So I'm gonna have to delete one. Let's get rid of... Get rid of, um, Fortune. We don't need her just yet. Try to keep as many of my high level ones as possible, but if I need to get rid of them, then so be it. Okay, let's go to the mall. Grab us a magician persona. Head back in. Hang out with Kenji. Wait. Was Kenji a magician or was that Junpei? I don't remember. Oh, she gave me a twilight fragment. Okay, I don't think I need to register anything. Yeah, okay. Let's- oops. Press the wrong button. Let us summon. And by level, make it easier. Oh, my cheapest magician. Okay, fine. Jack Frost. Okay, sweet. Okay, now we go back to town. And back to school. And Kenji, I'm so sorry that I've been neglecting you for a whole month. You were the very first person that wanted to hang out with me and talk to me, and I have not hung out with you since. I would like to apologize. <sighs> Phew, exams are finally over. Oh, thank God. Looks like we both made it out alive. Anyways, I'm gonna head out soon. How about you? Looks like Tomochika wants to hang out. 
And I do have Jack Frost, so we're gonna spend time with him. <laughs> huh? You coming with? Then how about we go for go out for ramen again? I want to hear more about you too. Ramen does sound really good right now. Man, this always hits the spot. This flavor's pretty addictive, huh? Despite its simple appearance, the soup has a complex flavor that's enhanced by the noodles. By the way, dude, why the hell is your dorm co-ed? What's wrong with that? Can you like just waltz on into Takeba-san's room and stuff? Bro, don't be like this, please, please. Um, I have to choose. That's a secret. <laughs> Leave it up to your imagination, secret? sir. Yeah, sure. The only secret is that nothing is going on between you two. Yes. Well, I'm not interested in girls her age anyway. <laughs> don't say that, bro. I'm more into older women. How about you? We have to agree with him. <laughs> no way, really? Not a lot of guys out there who feel the same way. Man, you're cooler than I thought. To tell you the truth, this stays between us. I have my eye on someone. Yeah, our teacher. Goodness. This is the secret plan I was talking about. Basically, I'm just gonna ask this girl out. But get this. She's oh, he's actually flat out telling us. Goodness. Not like that's gonna stop me from making my move. But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone, okay? It might look weird if a teacher and a student are having a thing, you know? Not it might look weird. It will be weird. Stupid Kenji. He was not a social link in the female route uh, food, so you never got to see this this side of him. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like our relationship is stronger. Can you guess which teacher he likes? He said older women. <laughs> food also likes older women, but he's also really bad at choosing women. <laughs> in terms of anime women. I parted ways with Tomochi Gun and went back to the dorm. Oh, goodness, sir. We love messed up older women. You can get, take a guess on which teacher he likes. There's a box on the counter. It's mine! It's the apron I ordered. <laughs> I see you're back. Oh, you're back. I know there's been talk of a new recruit, but don't expect too much from her right away. If there's another big fight soon, we shouldn't throw her hit. Throw her in head first, if she even joins us at, at all. Well, we kind of did that with Junpei, in a way. But that's where I come in. I've got a lot of missed fights to make up for, after all. It is weird, high age difference. I, it's weird because he's a minor and she's an adult. I mean, I guess once you're an adult, age becomes... L the a an age gap between adults becomes not as bad. I feel like the older you get. I feel like a 40 year old being with a 50 year old is not weird, but maybe a 20 year old with a 30 year old is weird, if you know what I mean. Um, okay. Um, today is the 26th. Um, we're gonna work part time to raise our courage and our charm. Uh, I haven't saved in a bit. <laughs> Being yesterday. Chaggle Cafe. Alright, work part time. Alright, oh, it's crowded. People want coffee this late at night? Yeah, right, so weird. Food, don't, don't even. <laughs> a customer's baby was ballin'. But I managed to soothe them gracefully. Nah, throw that baby away. <laughs> nah. <laughs> to quickly make room for more customers, I carried off a lot of dishes all at once. And they were impressed. And I've been paid. Let's go. Got some money back. And our charm and courage increased. Hit. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's go. Getting late, I should head back to the dorm. Back to mundane life. Um, the next full moon is gonna be on the 
13th, I believe. 